friends and neighbors. <laughs> Melissa Kerman here for Facebook Live every Thursday at 4 p.m. Coming to you from Melissa's Crafting Treehouse, www.melissascraftingtreehouse.com. So uh, whether you're here for the live event or coming back for the replay, thanks for joining in. Um, I have a fun project for you today. Hey, Barb. Welcome. Good to see you. I've got a few announcements and um, and then I'm going to get on to a project. Hi, Carol. Welcome. Thanks for commenting and letting me know you're here. Or, well, actually, I guess Facebook's telling me you're there. <laughs> I don't see an actual comment. Anyway, comment. Say hi. I love comments. And I love the hearts, as you guys know. I think I just saw something fly across the screen. Maybe that was a heart. Anyway, so I have a few announcements today. Um, and then I'm going to get straight to the project. Um, hi, Cornelia. Hi, Tracy. Or Neil, you go by Neil, right? <laughs> Just trying to remember everything. Okay, so the few announcements. Um, let's see. Um, hey, she said hi. Yay. Hi, Carol. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm going to start with my product shares. I shared um, all of what I had assembled last week, and I have a few that I um, have actually assembled since. I showed you the raw materials that I got in my brand new box last week. So just a quick little uh, added... Um, uh, uh, whatever, sneak peek. <laughs> so this is the Woven Threads Suite, and you can see it has sequins in there, quarter pack, and then some of the lovely ribbon, and then this designer paper. And I don't think I showed you the designer paper last week. I can't remember, but I have this nice little pack of little six by four pieces. So I'm gonna fan those out and show you those quickly. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Gail. Welcome. Okay, I'm fanning them out. Fanning them out. Let's see. Okay, so there's six pieces. This is the back side. That is the front side. Some of these are just beautiful. Not necessarily a color palette I would be normally drawn to, but some of the papers are still gorgeous. I especially love, okay, which is the one? This is the one. This um, pretty peacock one. I just adore that one. So anyway, that's um, the woven threads, a little sneak peek. And then um, <clears throat> the in colors is the other share that I assembled. So there's this one. So when you get this share, this is the biggest of all the shares. It has um, five different ribbons, two yards each, a half a pack of the sequins. There's designer paper in behind. And then you get two sheets each of all the five colors. So it's a really nice little um, way to tr taste out, taste <laughs> the, um, the new Taste of a Sweet product shares. Or mine, you know, my and sweet, yeah, by my, I'm losing my tongue. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I was, I was just thinking of too many things. I wanted to say, hi Parker, hi Cindy, hi Barbara. <laughs> I can't talk today. Anyway, Taste of a Sweet shares, um, a, way to, a great way to get a little bit of a lot of products from a given suite without spending too much money. So all that detail is on my website. Um, I actually have a tab specifically for product shares. So you can go there and find out more information. So I want to do a quick little shout out to my friend, um, Jennifer Grandstrand. I don't think she's on here today. Occasionally she joins in. Um, she actually cuts chipboard for me for uh, the product shares. So the product shares are packaged meticulously, I like to say. So it's got a, a really stiff board, so it's not going anywhere. It's not going to get smooshed or crushed. And you can thank my friend Jennifer for that. Um, so there's another one in here, a nice big one to and then actually the nice side is showing this way, it's linen. Okay, so this is what I, what I really wanted to shout out. Not only is she cutting these for me, because she works in a framing shop, but she's giving me these amazing quality chipboard pieces. So this is a linen, I don't know if you guys can see. This is suede, this is black linen, and then this one is just a regular chipboard piece, that, but it is, um, you know, from a, a framer shop. So just beautiful. I mean, I just, you know, take my product shares and step them up a little bit with amazing packaging. And um, so they're safe and they're going to come to whoever orders them in perfect order. So just wanted to shout out to Jennifer. Okay, I have one more quick little shout out. Um, Carol, who is here on the live, sent me a card just the other day. It was a really sweet thank you. And she, um, she sent me a card that she made with the Impressions of Tarnished Foil Technique. Hi, Kathleen, welcome. So I'm gonna show it. I, I asked her permission to show it. So here it is. 
she used the woodland embossing folder and she said she made this way back when I first shared the technique I think it was back in gosh I think 2016 um, so anyway there's her card isn't it gorgeous <laughs> hi Leslie welcome so thank you so much Carol for letting me share it and for sending it to me I love getting um, cards in the mail happy mail and I love seeing people create their own versions of fun things that I show <laughs> it's a real treat oh yeah you like it Parker yay <laughs> um, I'm sure there's others too so thank you again so let's see moving along so catalog mailing so some of you are going to be receiving a catalog from me if you're regular customers of mine and I've been busily preparing those and they're going in the mail tomorrow so some of you may have gotten a notice that I'm that I mailed you something well that's because I printed the postage but they're actually going in the mail tomorrow and Saturday and there's quite a few of them so it's taking me a little while to get it together but those are coming yay so exciting so with the product shares um, if you go on my website <coughs> There are nine of them that are actually assembled because they were stuff I could get by pre-order. But for the remaining, that would be four, I haven't been able to get those products. So I won't be assembling a share that will be on my website or at least not before they are ordered. So um, you'll have to rely on pictures in the catalog and also on my website of what I've provided of the different products that are in those shares. So just FYI. Yay. <laughs> Yay, Carol. <coughs> Okay, so um, so that's the catalog mailing. So coming soon. Um, okay, next big announcement. This is the, the other only and only other big announcement is my Technique Club details went live yesterday. I sent my newsletter kind of late last night and with a link to a web page that describes all the details of my Technique Club. I'm trying to provide um, a variety of options. Hi, Bonnie, welcome to people. Um, to fit all kinds of needs. So there's an electronic only version, there's versions that include kits, there's product purchase options or not. Um, so I hope that you will find something that meets your needs and I'm super excited about the, the Technique Club. So it's, um, the RSVP deadline is May 31st for the June class and there's an option to do a subscription, so committing to three classes. I'm also even doing an early bird special. So. Um, uh, I, actually, if you have to be a newsletter subscriber to know about the, new, the early bird special, so if you're not, you might want to be a subscriber. <laughs> Um, so I do, yeah, I do do lots of little perks just for newsletter subscribers that are not necessarily on my website. RCB, RCB. What does that mean? <laughs> Tell me what it is, Parker. Hi, Marilyn. Welcome. Okay, so um, that's a little bit of the technique club. So just I wanted to show you quickly that my my project one of my projects for the may june um clubs of mine uh is sort of modeled after kind of the technique club idea so just to kind of give you an idea um, i wanted to share with you um, the project that we did so uh, the technique club will generally have two projects and you'll have um there'll be if you get a kit it will be materials to make to each of both projects. So this project was inspired by um, my friend and fellow demonstrator Wanda Williams. So I have to do a shout out to her and I'm going to show you her card and then I'm going to show you my version and the one that we're doing in club and then I'll tell you a little about how it relates to Technique Club. So this is Wanda's card and can you see that amazing, hopefully there's not too much reflection, that gorgeous background. It's done with brush -o. Um so I just loved this and from the second I saw it I felt like I needed to make my own version um, with the hummingbird and the, the humming along framelits are retiring so here is my version of her card so we've done the brush -o background so that's the technique um, and it comes out different every time the paper that I've used here is shimmer white and I will be posting this to my blog in a blog post and I'll also be doing a video for it so this will be public information that anybody can get to on my YouTube channel. That's different from the Technique Club because the Technique Club is going to be exclusive content just for Technique Club members. Um, let's see, I'm reading your comment, Parker. Um, uh, okay, hmm, I'm not sure. <laughs> Send me a text or message because I'm not sure what RCB means or where the confusion is, but just let me know. So um, anyway, so that is the um, 
example of a card. So the second card, which we're not making in a club, but might be a second version of what we might do in if it were a Technique Club project, is this one. So I've created this one, I did a background, I cut my flower, which is also part of those same dies, the Humming Along dies, out of the backing and then um, put it over the top with some additional layers. And you can see it has the same um, crazy fun background with Brusho. So if you're not familiar with Brusho, by the way, you get a set of five bottles. It is retiring from the current catalog. Now Stampin' Up! is coming up with their own pigment sprinkles or uh, crystals, I guess is what you call them. Um, so uh, that's good. They're completely different colors. So if you love these colors, you're not going to be able to get these deep colors in the new ones. At least it doesn't look like it anyway. I'm super excited to play with those new colors once they come. But anyway, so you get five bottles and they look like this. And um, if you've watched anything that I've done with Brusho, uh, I kind of make fun of myself because when I got them, I was so excited. I just poked a ton of holes in them. And apparently it's probably, you know, people say it's better to poke like one hole. <laughs> But I was super excited to play, so there you go. Um, but it's worked, it's all good, so, and it works really well for this technique. So, um, so those are sort of the, the, what the projects would look like. Now the technique page would look something like this, and this is what my club members are making. Now these would of course have the technique on them, and I did do a couple of versions. This is what I was originally thinking, was that I would do you know, pieces like these on the bottom. But they didn't look as good layout-wise as these strips. <laughs> and I haven't managed to do those, uh, the technique on those strips. But this was the example that my club member saw. So for part of the Technique Club, you would get a page like this, and then you would get um, a sort of truncated um, set of instructions for how to do the technique. And then I'll be doing a PDF that's um, got lots of photographs in it and lots of variations on the technique to sort of go deep. So the idea of the Technique Club is that it's a deep dive into a given technique. Um, and I have to tell you that I've been, you know, actually I don't even know if it shows on my fingers, but earlier my fingers were so dirty because <laughs> the technique that we're doing for the June Technique Club was, you know, it was a messy one and it's fun and I have four variations um, that I'll be showing and teaching and um, multiple different versions of things that I'm going to show in the video. So there will be a video along with the PDF, the technique page and the projects. So that's just a little bit about Technique Club. So now um, here's just, just to give you an idea, there's a couple of just different examples of what this technique looks like depending on how you do it. This is watercolor paper. Um, this is also watercolor paper, and it's with shimmer spray. I call it chunky shimmer spray. Um, and then let's see, there's another one that's, this one is done with um, shimmer paper, which is what my Technique Club members, um, I'm sorry, which my, what my club members <laughs> used was the shimmer paper, because then it has the shimmer in it, which is super fun. Alrighty, so that's just a little bit about the Technique Club. I will put a link in the Facebook page to the Technique Club. It's not in there now because it won't let me do it before I go live. Um, but I will put it in there after I go live. And just know that now on my website, on the tabs across the top, it says um, one of the options is tech, uh, tutorials and classes. So under that, there is now an, a selection for Technique Club and it's the very first one. So if you're looking for the information, you can't find the link somewhere else, you can go to my website and you'll find it there. So um, let me know if you have questions. I'm super excited about this new venture. It's taken a long time to get here um, and techniques are my thing. So I'm super excited for it. All righty. I'm gonna take a deep breath for a second. <laughs> um, hi, Melissa. There's another Melissa. Hi, welcome <laughs> from Wisconsin. So glad you could be here. All right, so moving to projects for today. Now, I'm just gonna tell you, okay, the projects for today, I was really focused on the Technique Club, you know, and working on the Technique projects. And so the project that I have today is, what should we say? It's a little bit different from what I might normally share. <laughs> And I hope you like it. It's not like the kind of, and you know, I shouldn't even be telling you this, but it's not like, you know, top of my list, oh my gosh, crazy, because it's not necessarily a technique. <laughs> it's more like a puzzle, but it's still fun. And I have three different variations that I'm gonna show you. So let's go ahead and get started. But first, let me just show you. We're using a new set called Woven Heirlooms that actually coordinates with 
the woven threads suite of products so that goes with that I talked about that last week actually so this is th something that's new that's going to be with us starting June 4th and then we're working with something that's retiring which is the pressed flower set and this is actually a hostess set so um, I have a finished project that's made with this and the one I'm going to make in front of you is made with um, the woven heirlooms so without further ado I'm going to Put the camera face down and start showing you what I got. So take me a second and you get to look at my lovely plain white ceiling for one second. And then get our light just so. Yes, I like the pressed flowers um, set and I don't often buy hostess sets. I really only buy them when um, I love them. And you know, of course, when I'm the hostess because you can only get them when you're the hostess. Okay, so I'm just trying to get this square on so you guys aren't all wonky. Hi, Fran. Welcome. Let's see. And before, as soon as I get this right, I'm going to have be looking mostly at my hands and I won't see who's commenting, but I'll do my best. Oh, you just bought the pressed flower stamp set. Good for you. Before it's gone. Okay, here we go. So there's the set. My lighting, I think, is... Mostly okay. Okay, so we're gonna start with um, a, a, I've already started a little bit with the layout. Okay, so I got started because like I said, this is kind of like a puzzle and This project was inspired by oh dang it. Did I leave the photo downstairs? Shoot I'm so sorry <laughs> It's really important that you see the photo and I left it downstairs <laughs> I am definitely not running down because it'll take me like a few minutes to get there and back <laughs> Okay, well anyway, this is, um, I'll, I'll post the picture to um, this uh, uh, Facebook Live event or, you know, um, after, after I um, get off of the live. So I'm sorry that I don't have that here. I hate when I forget details like that. Anyway, it's, um, it was inspired by a sort of a piece of art. I think it was a piece of art on, that I saw on Pinterest. And um, it's, it turned out a little bit different than that piece of art. It was a little bit hard to replicate, um, but you will see when you actually do see the photo um, that I share later. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some stamping of some pieces that are gonna go over the top of each of these elements here. And I'm gonna bring my stamps in. So I'm using from this, I'm using this long image I'm using, eventually I'll use this, but not on this version. I'm using the thank you so much. And uh, on this one, this cute little, I love that little image. Some of these are just so sweet. Um, okay, so I'm gonna kind of set that aside because I'm gonna start with my stamping. Okay, so you guys are gonna crack up because this is, um, they're little tiny pieces and you're gonna know what I'm talking about when I say it was challenging to do this. <laughs> Okay, so where do I want to start? I'm getting myself organized here. So I've got that piece and that piece and this piece. Where's my purple? Here's my purple. Alrighty, so I'm starting with this very large image and I'm using my Memento Black and I'm just going to ink that up. Now I am stamping all of these, most of these images off. Um, just to kind of get a more subtle kind of look to the whole thing and <clears throat> Let me think oh no, I have to go to the bottom. It's like I said, this is kind of like a puzzle <laughs> Okay, so here we go just a little bit along the bottom and I think the prettiest part of this image is in the center I don't know if you can see that there's sort of these little I don't know vintagey flourishy things in the center Okay, so my purple's all done, and I'm going to do my green, and I kind of don't want the whole thing done, so if I'm going off the edge, it's on purpose. I'm trying to leave a little bit of the color showing. Okay, so now on my green one, I'm going to use this lovely little flourish. I'm sort of creating a bit of a, like I said, a puzzle. Um, oh geez, just realizing I did, I switched my pieces around, oh well, so it'll be different. <laughs> a 
that's just the way it's going to be. Okay, so we got that one. We got that one. And this one. Okay. All right, we're going to set those aside for a second. And then I got a couple more pieces. For this one, I'm going to use this little image. And I guess I'm using that one because I got my blues mixed up. Okay. <laughs> and my yellow. Okay, so again, I'm stamping this off just because I'm trying to keep it sort of subtle and not doing the whole thing, but part of it. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay, well, whatever. It's going to be whatever it is because I'm sort of confused on my own puzzle. <laughs> All right, and then the blue one, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do this one even though I, was, I had it planned so it would be three of each image, but what the heck, doing it however it comes out. Okay, so I got that stamped, and then I'm going to use this cute little image again on the blue. You're like, all these tiny little pieces. Okay, so the original design actually had the images um, off the edge and sort of overlapping onto the white, and it was super difficult to do that. So. I just had to let it go. Okay, so now this one is going to go on here. I might have to do that one just again so it goes off the edge. I want it to go the whole length. All right, get some adhesive in here. I'm going to start putting this little puzzle together. So the second card is similar, but I've done a bunch of the parts and pieces just so that we wouldn't be here all day, because like I said, puzzle pieces. So let's get my layout. So do you guys ever find a piece of art and try to make something fun, like inspired by it? Comment and let me know. It's definitely a different kind of way to, to create. And I always find that it's fun, but it's also sometimes super challenging to, uh, to get it um, to be true to sort of the vision. But it becomes its own thing, and that's sort of fun. Okay, so off the bottom. So I'm going to have that up just a little bit on that layer. my Pacific Point. So the colors I'm using here are Lemon Lime Twist, which is retiring. Uh, it's one of the 2017-19 in colors, probably the one I will miss the most of all of them. And I just realized I got to be up a little bit. I want to be like the others. And I do I want it to be like the others. So you can see I've got it lined up at around that same spot. Okay, so I'm almost done with this. The next thing I'm gonna do is stamp a sentiment. I'm using this cute little thanks, what is it, thank you so much. Hi Amy, welcome. Hi Kathy, did I say hi? I'm not sure that I did. So hi. Okay, so we're going straight into the middle with the thank you. I'm gonna test it on the paper, see if I got my sense of straight with me. Do it right in the center. And then I'm gonna use this cute little flourish again and this I did stamp off because the sentiment is kind of a little bit, it's so small and it's actually a, a little bit sort of lighter weight as far as the image than the one I'm stamping right now. So I didn't want to overwhelm it. So now I turned it over and I'm kind of just framing my thank you so much. Hopefully I got it kind of straight on there. That's yeah, a little bit off, but it's close enough. Okay, so now I'm gonna stamp I'm going to ink, I'm sorry, put adhesive on that. Getting all my words mixed up. Attach it on the front. And then, so that's kind of it. And I, I so wish I had my photograph, which is downstairs. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're just going to have to be in the dark. Okay, so now I put dimensionals on there already. I hate to have you guys wait while I take dimensionals off. <laughs> oh, I see, Parker, you're going to miss Lemon Lime Twist too. Yes, I hope it will come back also. So I did this in a little different way. I had my little plasticized paper 
took all the backings off the dimensionals so you guys wouldn't have to watch and wait while I took them off. There we go. So that is my finished card. And you might appreciate it more if you could see the piece of artwork that I based it on. But anyway, there you go. So um, I'm going to do one more, but I've done a lot of the steps for it so that it will be quicker. And for this one, we're going to start with here, this. And let's see what we got there. Oh, yes. Okay, so I have already stamped a bunch of this, as you can see. So I use this lovely sentiment, wishing you a day of love and joy. How can you go wrong with that? For anything, right? I just love it. So this is that sentiment in there. Um, I wanted to use thinking of you, but it didn't really fit with this layout. So then I did I love you three different times. Now you can see, I basically, I reoriented it. <laughs> I reoriented it up this way. And then I took this panel and put it in the middle. So it's the same layout, just the panels moved around. I thought that was kind of cool. I think it's so fun to move the, um, reorient things and move things around and you just come up with something totally different. Okay, yes, except powder pink. I get that. I'm not a pale pink girl either, so <laughs> I get that, Amy. I agree. All right, so, um, okay, so I reoriented. So I did all the stamping. I've attached those pieces. I've just got a few pieces more to attach and to stamp. Now, notice this little piece right here. It's a plasticized piece. These, this comes from the adhesive, um, uh, the adhesive sheets that you can attach to paper and then die cut them. These are retiring. I checked. They're actually all gone. Just when I started really trying them and playing with them. We talked about this a few weeks back and fit, go figure. Like as soon as I start playing with it, it's, you know, going away. So uh, <laughs> what can you do, right? Okay. Just So anyway, I'm using that plasticized sheet and I, I kind of love it. Um, because it's nice and big and I get to lay my, my thing out there. I've got my adhesive already on there. I've got my dimensions on the back side of that layer. So it's going to make it really quick to put it together. So now I'm just looking for the other image that I need, which is this very adorable, cute little flourishy thing. I love little cute flourishy things <laughs> in the way of images. So I'm just going to stamp on the bottom of this one. I'm going to do first and second inking in a few spots. I'm going to reorient it a bit to um, make it look interesting. Actually, I'm gonna, there we go. All right, and that's all I'm going to do on that one. And then on this one, one other piece, I'm going to do some of these little flourishes right down the middle. Now I didn't use my stamped off ink because it went off the page and you guys know you end up with kind of a wonky looking thing if you stamp off the page and then use that second ink. So I'm just gonna stick with simple on that one. So I'm gonna take my, this is Highland Heather. I started talking about the colors and I forgot to talk about all of them. So we got Lemon Lime Twist. This is, I have it written down, Call Me Clover. Pacific Point, Balmy Blue, Daffodil Delight, and Highland Heather. Just a pretty color palette. I really, I really like this color combination. It was part of what um, attracted me to this art piece in the first place. Notice I have it stamped on the back, but I decided I wanted it to be a little bit less busy. I don't know. What do we think? I don't know. Maybe I like it better that way. I think I like it better the other way. Okay, so I'm going to use the other side. Creator's prerogative. I like options. Do you guys like options? <laughs> I like options. Okay, so here we go. So this is just, I'm going to put it up just the tiniest bit up the, from the bottom edge. You can see right there, going up just a little bit. And then this panel, I've got adhesive on the back side of this one. This is the only puzzle piece missing on the front. So I got that one on now. See where I'm going with this. And then I'm going to just put this piece of lemon lime twist on there. And I'm going to put it kind of towards the middle. Middle top to bottom that is. 
So there we go. Different version of the same idea. And then I just need to put it on its card base. I've got a white card base here. Again, I've got my dimensionals all with the backings removed. I'm just going to go ahead and attach it to the front of the card. So um, I hope you guys will check back and check out the photo of this art piece that inspired me because I think it will make the design kind of make more sense of where I was going with it. Um, and I'm going to show you the version I did with the pressed petals as well. This was my first design. And so this is, this is the first design. Now you'll notice that I did four rows on this one and it just was kind of, boy, was it kind of a pain to put together. <laughs> so I decided to do a version that would have just the three rows, make the pieces a little bit bigger and make it look a little bit simpler. So yeah, it's, it's definitely different from, you know, what I might normally do. Um, but just fun to play and just, you know, another another way to design. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed, enjoyed seeing that project. And like I said, we'll come back and look at the piece of artwork that inspired these three projects. Um, and doesn't that make like a nice little trio of cards? I think it's kind of fun. So when you look at the design, the art piece that I'm going to share with you, um, the images were all like foliage type images, but they were very delicate and line drawn images, which is what made me think of using this one because the images are a little bit more delicate. So anyway, can't wait to show that to you. So um, that is it for the project demonstration. I'm just going to turn the camera quick and so I can say goodbye to you showing my face. Okay, let's see if we can turn it around. <laughs> Hello, it's my face again. Hi, everybody. <laughs> All right, so I hope you enjoyed the project, and um, like I said, we'll check out the other, the art piece. And uh, quick reminders, of course, product shares are live. Those are, um, you can register to, you can sign up for those through June 5th, technically pay by June 6th. Um, there are 13 shares, and the information is on my website, so check it out. Uh, Technique Club is live, of course, as of today. Registration deadline is May 31st. There's an early bird deadline of next Tuesday the 21st. If you're not a newsletter subscriber, subscribe and I will let you know what that special is. So there's a special gift or perk when you sign up by that date. Um, and the catalogs are going out. Yay! For those of you who are receiving a catalog from me, you're going to be getting it really soon. So um, I'll be back next Thursday. That is the 20. Is that the 23rd? <laughs> I think it's the 23rd. Anyway, next Thursday, 4 p.m. I'm sorry, 7 p.m. <laughs> Eastern Standard Time. Same time, same channel. Yay, Melissa's Crafting Trios. Thanks for spending the, um, some time with me today, and I'll look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.